Hey everybody, this is Mike Anderson with Collision Advice. I'm here with my great friend Danny with the DEG, and we're working with SERS to bring you a series of quick tips that will help you to boost your business. Welcome to today's quick tip brought to you by SCRS. Today, we're going to talk about extending clear. Oh my goodness. I cannot tell you the emails that I've been getting from shops lately about this, right? At the end of the day, let's talk a little bit about extending clear. Number one is that Autotex has a formula to extend clear to the natural breaking point, And that is 20% of the base code time. CCC has a formula extending clear to the natural breaking point, which is 40% of the base code time. And Mitchell has a formula extending clear to the natural breaking point, which is 50% of the base code time. Now question number one, let's say you're replacing a quarter panel and you're going to paint that, or you know what, you're repairing a quarter panel and you want to extend clear along the roof rail. Let's say there's no paint time on the roof rail to take the 20, 40 or 50% of. What would you do next? What you need to understand is that paint times are based off of square footage or the size or dimensions of a component. So what you would do is you would first measure the component and then you would submit it to the DEG and then they would come up with a labor time for you working with the appropriate system, CCC Mitchell Autotex. Now, let's talk about up and overs. What is an up and over? You see, all of your OEM manufacturers as well as your paint manufacturers state that again, you must extend clear to the natural breaking point. Now you may say, well, Mike, what do you mean by all the OEMs? Now, some of the OEMs have position statements like Fiat Chrysler, Volkswagen, Toyota, Lexus, Nissan, Infiniti, and others. For those that don't have a position statement, what they say is you must adhere to your paint manufacturer's guidelines. And therefore, all the major paint manufacturers say, again, you must extend clear to the natural breaking point to qualify for a lifetime warranty. Now, if there is not a natural breaking point up at the roof, like there's not a roof molding, then you need to do what is called an up and over, which means you need to clear the roof rail, the quarter panel, and the roof, you know, all the way again, up and over, right? So at the end of the day, for more clarity on that, Danny, what are your thoughts? So it's definitely been a topic that's been coming up more and more. And like you said, the emails that have been blowing up. And we even have a recent inquiry, 17409 from CCC, which states that the laser welded roof seam is not a natural break point. And again, that defines it that that's not a stopping point for the paint to be stopped at or for the clear to end at. So you must continue it to the adjacent panel, which is the uh, roof and then down the opposite quarter panel if needed. So following the paint manufacturer's uh, recommendations and also using the formula in all three systems, I will recommend with Mitchell just to utilize the blend formula as a 50% applies to the same uh, logic. So again, extending the roof is not included. Now I wanna ask you a question because there has been a topic uh, bringing that paint into the aperture unicide of the vehicle. What are your thoughts on that, Mike? Yeah, so you know, we do a lot of estimate training for some of the OEM manufacturers, Danny, as well as our company Collision Advice. And you know, recently we also do our surveys, who pays for what? And we actually have a survey that just we just conducted in January. And what we found, Danny, is there is a huge transition that more and more shops are actually clearing the entire unicide. Like they're removing the doors, right? Right. I understand this is a business decision. It's a case-by-case -case basis. But I can tell you year over year, what we have seen in our Who Pays for What surveys, as well as my own personal experience doing estimate training, is that more and more shops are removing the doors, and they're, in some cases, even the fender, and they're clearing the entire unicide. And again, that's a not included operation. Seems like it saves a lot of time by not having to uh, uh, mask the, uh, the hard edge or having to go back and polish that line out as well. So I can see the need for uh, repainting the whole side in one continuous application. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and another thought too is if you were to blend clear up inside like a center pillar or a lock pillar, think about how much those areas are susceptible to chipping when somebody drops their seat belt. So again, I want a full coat of clear on that so it holds up really well. Great point, Mike. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Extending clear to the natural breaking point as a not included operation. And remember, if there's not a paint time for you to apply the formula of extending clear to, measure the component and submit it to the DEG. And last but not least, if there's not a natural breaking point, then that would be called an up and over. That you're going to paint the quarter panel, do the roof, and go over to the other quarter panel as well. Thanks for joining us today.